Sharon Os Osborne is out of the dog. I think I've already made a video about this particular topic before when it comes to the talk. But if I haven't already, then I'll go over it. All the talk is is a show on CBS daytime that is full of a bunch of gynocentric, self-obsessed, hyper, and I mean hyper, virtue signaling bunch of harpies. Yeah, you heard me right. They hyper virtue signal. They are self-obsessed and gynocentric feministic harpies that think they're so goddamn important that they have an hour dedicated to them of their of having their own show that people will watch them do what is normally generally considered to the rest of the world as girl talk. The entire premise of the show is shit, and the people are all fake as fuck and clearly virtue signaling episode to episode, and pretending to be a good, wholesome Christians, especially that Cheryl chick. All of them are a bunch of airheaded morons that I cannot believe that anybody watches that show. Seriously, they are so virtue signally that on a per episode basis, if you pay attention close enough, you'll see that they're no better than politicians. Like, they'll say, oh, I'm so against this for one episode because it's, it's what sensationalizes in that moment. That's what is emotionally correct or, or virtue signal correct, you know, politically correct, however you want to put it. Then the next show, they'll be like, oh yeah, you know, if it isn't, you know, in the heat of the moment, if it's not the big thing, then they'll be like, oh yeah, that was okay. You know, they will flip-flop like a politician. They will make politicians look like nothing, like amateurs when it comes to the flip-flopping based off of what we're going to virtue signal about today, folks. So, honestly, Sharon not being a part of that toxic, feministic, gynocentric echo chamber is a good thing. And, and really the best thing that she could have had done to her. Whether she was forced out or willingly, it doesn't matter at that point. She's out of that echo chamber of toxic femininity. Uh, but to go on the backstory of it is because we live in such a world of oversensitive pansies. It, the story is that Sharon defended. Don't try and cry, because if anyone should be crying, it should be me. Defended Piers Morgan. And, um, you know, if you don't know that, basically this Piers Morgan guy was calling Megan out um, on her shit, and apparently. Whether or not this is true, supposedly this Piers Morgan guy has some problem with, uh, what's her face? With, uh, Meghan Markle. You know, ever since the interview of Meghan Markle and Oprah, uh, a lot of people have been talking about it, and Piers Morgan was, you know, the main guy to, you know, make it a big thing, and, uh, he was pretty critical of her, and so on and so forth, and people took exception to it, they got offended by it, blah blah blah, um, so anyway, long story short, Sharon uh, defended him, as she has the right to do, and uh, ultimately the backlash from the oversensitive pansies and uh, so on, and the cancer culture people was so much that she ultimately left the show or was removed by the show, uh, and then under the premise of her willingly leaving, whichever way it is, but one way or the other, she's no longer a part of the show because of that. But like I said before, honestly, it's, pr it's for the best for her. Uh, she is with Ozzy Osbourne, you know, she should focus more on music, supporting her husband, or just chilling at home, really. Anything is better than being anything associated with the dog. Like, fuck that show. That show is just so garbage. It's one of those things where if you want to torture somebody, have them watch that show. Jesus fucking Christ, what a waste of one hour. My God. Anyway. That's all I gotta say about that. So, until next time.